Hey everybody, today we are going to be playing League of Legends and we are going to be playing with the new champion, Kane. He came out a little bit ago, probably when this video comes out. He's probably been out for quite a little bit, but yeah, I picked up this new hero and he's honestly one of my favorite new heroes. I, I don't know, something about him, I really like his mechanics and how he plays. I'm definitely going to be playing him a lot more. So yeah. Let's kind of just get started. I'll kind of talk through how I play. So, of course, he's a jungler. You can play him top, but I personally play him a jungler. Now, the thing that I like about Kane is he has two different forms, and both forms you could play differently. So, he has his Darken form and his Shadow Assassin form. Personally, I like his Darken form. That's the form that I like best, and that's usually AD, but you can play AP with him too. Yeah, here you could see it was a decent clear. I didn't get to my blue or my Krugs, but I did get pretty far. And at the same time, I am just learning him, and I probably don't have the best runes and stuff just yet. But, oh, this Pantheons. <laughs> oh, wow, dude. He, he's running a little bit of a risk up there. He did it. That's surprising. It is very surprising i thought he was gonna die buff let's see what we can do here all right we hit him let's see if we can get a kill here ah oh, i think i'm gonna die yeah Ugh, that was really sloppy yeah that was kind of sloppy i probably i probably reached for that kill a little just a little bit the one thing that i really do love about this champion that probably made me fall in love with him a little bit is the amount of mobility in this champion is busted his q you can jump over thin walls your w once you get dark in form it's a knock up so you can use that as a form of escape your e you can literally run through walls like what's more mobility than that and then your r if you're in a tough situation you can go inside of somebody wait until your e's up jump out in the direction you want to use your ego through a wall just the amount of mobility in this character is nuts i mean don't think it's broken it's not broken you could still die very easily but if you know how to play him you really can get away looks like this ezreal's trying to be brave here you know what i don't like braveness there we go right, let's try to chase down this yasuo here if i can get some damage i can r him that's all that matters right Ooh, that is some damage, so we're going to back off. Ah, oh, but that Yasuo is so low. I'm really tempted to go in into that Yasuo, but I know I'll die, so... I don't know if it's about if you attack more uh, melee or kind of like mage characters, but I think it looks like we are long-ranged and like close-range. Oh, that's unlucky. Alright, let's go ahead and buy here quickly. Now, what item do we need? I think I want to go for, um, where is it? Right there. I think this is the item we're going to want to go for here. It's usually a lot of ADC's first item. And I heard it was pretty so dead. And right there, I just wanted to cut off for escape. I knew I probably wasn't going to land that, but... Oh, but I got that kill. That's surprising. So, like, the universal skill upgrade orders, you usually want to go Q, W, E... Q, Q, R, and then I think you want to start going your W's and Q's until you max them out. E should be the last thing you max out. Q should be the first thing you max out, and then your W, and then obviously your ultimate. Alright, so let's go dark in form. And you guys missed the animation, but kind of need to get buying here. The animation's not so, so amazing. But yeah, so pretty much you just change your skin a little bit and your abilities become a little bit different. It just gives certain buffs depending on... And you can see one of the buffs right there, that, that knock-up by the cane you just saw. He's He went dark in two. Ooh, that Ezreal. Ooh. It's like Ezreal's lucky to live, but actually I think uh, either bleeding or... Depending on his item, he took a little bit da more damage. Yeah, it looks like our Zen took out the Rift Herald, so that's pretty good. And we got the mount. I'm surprised he was able to take Rift by himself. That's actually kind of surprising. Although Zin is kind of like a weird champion. He can completely carry games on his back. I've seen Zins go like 50 and 0. So 
it can happen. And I think we can buy Death Stance now, which is pretty good. That'll really, really help us in the future. And I guess we'll go towards Black Cleaver next. I could either go towards like a health item like Gargoyle Stone Plate, but me I think I think Zen and Pantheon can kind of be frontline and take a lot of the damage, so I think I'll just go Cleaver. There he goes, another tower. It's pretty good. I think we should... Well, we could keep going towards another turret, but it looks like some people are coming up from mid, so we'll be able to catch them out and kill them. Yeah, I don't know what this king thought he was doing, but he's definitely dead now. I'm just going to go inside of him and kill him. There we go. And then we could escape pretty easily. Yep, yeah, we can... But that was, that was just the trick. We're going to come back in here because the fight's going to keep going. Take care of that. Ooh. Okay, and I should probably run away. I'm very low health. Let's see. What are, she exhausted me for some reason. I think we can actually take this fight. We have a lot of life that we can take and gain. Yeah, not exactly sure what her thought process was, but it works out for me. So we're 5 and 1 and 2. And our farm is pretty good. Not pro level farm, but pretty good. And we, we could buy against, like, uh, Gargoyle Stone Plate or. Uh, um, AG, but I think we're just gonna go with Black Cleaver instead. I don't know if this Yasuo's alone, but if he is, we could get a really easy kill on him. So let's go, come on. Come on, Lucian. Easy. There we go. And my damage is really starting to stack here now. Even this Yasuo. Although the Yasuo's really bad. You could really see me starting to do some damage, especially with my Q, which is really good. And, yeah, that Zin is, uh, he's going, <laughs> he's going at it, man. It's, that's what, that's what a fed Zin does. He just, he just carries the game on his back. I mean, we're not doing that bad. Six and one and two is not bad. And I could have even gone six and zero if I wasn't so, if I didn't play so dumb in the beginning. I'm going to jump in this fight. I think at this point, my job is going to be kind of like wave clear here. Should clear some, oh, what is this Yasuo doing? Kind of jumped out in the middle of nowhere. I think my job right now should be. Oh, this cane is. Oh, help me, Zen. Help me, Zen. Help me, Zen. <laughs> oh, my dude. Yes, right there. All right, I just got saved by him, which is pretty nice. Oh, yeah, this Lucian's doing a, a, a little bit of damage. This Lucian's obviously not one of the best Luc Lucians you've ever seen. Now let's do a little bit of damage. Ooh, I'm getting. I'm just going to go inside of her so I don't take damage. There we go. And kill her afterwards. So yeah, that, that lifesteal. A little bit OP. But yeah, I think we're, guys, I think the game ends here. If you guys enjoyed this game. Oop. <laughs> that was a bad decision by me. If you guys enjoyed this game, make sure to like and comment as it supports our channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless. And goodbye. And I think I got an S on this game, right? Let's see. Let's uh, honor. I think the Zen. The Zen did good, right? Let's see what we got. Got an S. S minus. Wait, is that an S or an S minus? We got an S. Sick.